ding, 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 round two of my dog Samson of Giant Rots against Vinny the Rottweiler. There's round two. We going to Bloodlines. I don't know why you sent me, the owner of Vinny, sent me the bloodline of his dog. Look how little this boy is. So when we did the measurements yesterday, the boy neck came up as big as his head. That dog head ain't big like that. You see what I'm saying? He started going for neck. First of all, let's be clear. Vinny the Rottweiler's owner decided, let's measure head. Samson out, grew head out, out, outsized his by at least three inches. You can look at the tape and size it yourself. Yes, this is Leg Vom House Ebedestine or whatever, man. Some, some UK bullshit. Look how small that dog head is, man. Yeah, he tall like a pony, like I said. Now, let's go to my dog, bro, and who we talking about here. I got Samson off of Rumpy, the son of Bruno. Man, look how big these dogs is. Look how dog, like, if you want a big dog, his dog bloodline come out skinny and little. But it's tall, though. If you want a big dog, look at my bloodlines. Ain't nothing little in it. Humongous. See, he say, oh, I got a 160-pound dog. Listen, real breeders know you don't post over 155, period. Samson is bigger than your dog in any way, man. Twice as big when it comes to width. Your dog is skinny. And I just want the people to look at what Lex Von Haas Edelstein is producing. Yeah, he's skinny, but like I told him, man, hey, man, you know your dog look like way, like one of them Doberman pictures, man. So go back to Samson. Let's look how wide he is because when you get your dogs, you expect you looking for a bloodline that's going to carry the same genetics because what you're looking at is what you want you expect out of a pup. Man, post some pics of your dog's uh, uh, of your dog's litters if they better than mine then, if they bigger than mine then. Because you can say, oh, no, man, look at my dog's proportions, and it's not about that. No, everything we went off of is you having a big dog. Here goes Bruno. Man, we could go to his dad. Then we can go to Samson. They all built the same humongous heads and bodies. How you work him out after that is on you. But we do produce the baddest and the biggest. And we challenging anybody. If you think you got a bigger dog that, and than us, that's intact. Our dogs is worldwide. Our dogs is champions. At this size, they got game in them still. You see what I'm saying? They proven they self. Yeah, your bloodline hasn't even checked in as a 150-pound dog that's won, won championships yet. And that's most important because when you get a big Rottweiler, they're going to want to see his work ethic. They're going to want to make sure that you stay within the specs. Yeah, your dog is tall. You showed me. A little bit too tall. Like we both agree. But. Let's go to the size. Yo, his dad ain't got none. And then I seen the female you had. She was little as shit. So let's see the female that, your, that, that came from your dog, Vinny. See what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, there's no contest, man. You got to watch who got... You got to be careful show social media these days. Because it's not about talent. It's not about quality. You see what I'm saying? It's who worked the hardest to get the most followers now, man. But it's people with better, man. Look at this dog here. I don't want no dog like that. That's not an extreme Rottweiler. That's not maximum. Maximum. Lex Vom House Edelstein, man. They not fucking with. They not fucking with my bloodline, Giant Rots. We coming off that Von Oberstein, man. Look them up, man. All you gotta do, you gonna see big bodies, man. Listen. Even if you get a big dog out of that, let me give you some game. Even if you do find a big dog, just like a lot of Timotors. Everybody look for Timotor. But we all know, just because you get the biggest, baddest Timotor blood, don't mean them genetics going to pass on. And Giant Ross, bro, I ain't even playing with y'all. We knew in the game, but trust me, we done line bred these dogs for certain aspects in them. Block heads, big bodies. You see what I'm saying? It's just a shame that he wants to turn around and compete with my dog and his dog's bloodline whole bloodline has no contest man i'm proud you got a big dog man Vinny look good but like i said man in comparison to samson man it's no contest man we dry rock kennels man and we just dropped a litter my female big too so i'm challenging you breeders not only to put up your male but put up your female too because what's gonna pass these genetics on to the next bloodline 
is that female. So you can water them down with a little ass female. They hard to get, man. And yeah, we breed them, man. We just we just had five humongous. You see how big Delilah is. So even if you do got those big genetics, you cross her with a little or female and a little or female, you it's gonna be harder to prove to bring those giant rots. Bloodlines back out again, man. That's a baby head. Your dog's dad got a baby head. I ain't got to worry about that with my dog's dad. You see what I'm saying? I went and found my dog, and then I went and found what puppy was going to match those Pacifics. We skilled out here. You And then he started to bow down. Like, oh, man, you know, we both got some big dogs, man. Yeah, man. You know, No, nah, man, listen. I take this serious, man. And all that shit you was talking, you got to back it up now. You see, my dogs is bigger, badder, and better. And this is just only round two because anybody who's serious about these Rottweilers, you better look at the genetics. Yeah, let's go look at how small your dog head is compared to Bruno. If I go back another generation, man, we got Rumpy. My dog looks exactly the same. And the bigger point of that is my dog is a representation of what they can, of, of what these other prestigious kennels produce, man. You see what I'm saying? Are they representing you like you representing them? Because look at man, look this this is how you want your dog to look. This is what I'm coming with. You want them big bone genetics? No, you need to buy some blood from me and have me ship it out there so your dog can get thicker. You can guarantee that size because man, look how little they. You can't just put your dog with a little dog. You can't breed a big dog with a little Rottweiler and think you're gonna have. Big ass bloodline genetics. Hey man, we giant rock kennels, man. I do this shit, man. You feel me? Tap in. Who next, man? These is the Rottweiler battles, man. We 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 going for who got the biggest head. Everything, man. We gonna match them up, man. We gonna put them on the scale and let the viewers tell who's who got the baddest dogs. And just so we clear, just so we clear, I'm K Cole, curator of Giant Rock Kennels. What you're looking at here is four generations of big body, humongous, giant Rottweilers. That's why we call giant Rottweiler kennels. To the left is my dog's dad, Bruno. Top is his great grandpa. Middle, Rumpy Von Benny, his dad. And at the bottom, Samson. You see Samson at Bruno's kennel. Man, I, he took a better picture of my dog than I could, man. I'm just saying we all work together when it comes down to these bloodlines. We real serious out here in California, man. We got the biggest dogs and we stand on that. World champions within the requirements of German Rottweilers worldwide, man. That's what I'm saying. When you go against us, man, this is what you're dealing with. When you're looking for a dog with them big body structures, this is what we can guarantee. You see what I'm saying? No, this these dogs ain't got skinny bodies. These dogs ain't got little heads nowhere in their bloodlines. And then I turn around and line bred her. So Rumpy Von Benny, that's the grandpa of Delilah. You feel me? We got puppies ready right now. Put your reservations in. These other people can't show their generations and be proud, proud of them man, like we can. Some people get lucky, but when you buy your dog, you know you want that old school guaranteed look that only giant rock kennels is producing. We in the building. Hit a friend, tag somebody, share them. Man, even if you know somebody with bigger rock wallers, man, ask them to jump in this rock wallet challenge, man. You see, my dog is represented. I didn't take this picture. The other kennel did. You see what I'm saying? My dog is a representation of them. Top quality, Samson. This is what we producing. And look at the head on Sammy Yam Yams, man. Yeah, man. Look at, look at, a matter of fact, look at him compared to his parents, man. He's shining. They took that picture. I didn't, man. Check this out, man. We do it, and we do it at a higher level, man. Man, make sure you reserve your pup today.